Every day, we rely on valuable natural resources like fossil fuels, land for growing crops, and clean air and water. And each day, thousands of people around the world depend on another precious resource, plasma from human blood. That's because plasma has several important components, including immunoglobulin, or Ig, a protein fraction that contains millions of antibodies that help the body fight diseases. Like most precious resources, the availability of plasma is limited. The only way to get it is from healthy people who donate. Most people donate slightly under one liter of plasma at a time. Since Ig makes up only a small part of plasma, many donations are needed to produce enough to treat patients. In fact, it takes about 130 donations to produce enough Ig to treat one immune deficient patient for a year. Separating plasma from blood is relatively simple. However, separating Ig from plasma to create patient therapies is complex and time intensive. The process takes up to nine months to meet the highest standards for quality and safety. First, the collected plasma is transported to a facility where the Ig is separated from other plasma proteins and is purified through a series of steps over a period of several weeks. The process follows rigorous standards to ensure Ig is safe and effective for patients. The Ig is then filled into vials in an aseptic environment. As an additional safeguard, the Ig incubates for several weeks to ensure a high quality and safe product. After one final inspection, the Ig is packaged, labeled, and sent to distribution centers to be shipped to patients all over the world. Today, we have some of the few facilities in the world with highly skilled engineers, quality experts, scientists, and operators who are trained to separate Ig from plasma. These facilities can produce enough Ig for tens of thousands of patients with immune deficiencies. Ig is a valuable and complex therapy that depends on the dedicated volunteers who willingly donate plasma, making it a precious resource for many patients in need.